makes us stop. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. This is Joe and um, I have debated for a very long time whether or not to do a vlog. You see, I see these young kids doing these vlogs or actually a day in the life and I actually found it super interesting and I don't know why. I think it's probably because um, you're more like a voyeur when you're watching um, this person and you're, you're kind of taking in what they go through in the morning. So um, I'm a professional television editor here in Los Angeles and I thought, well, maybe some of you guys might wanna know what my day is like um, when I'm not doing the YouTube videos. So come along with me and see if you find it interesting. Alexa, turn off downstairs. Okay. Alexa, arm my system away. ADT is on the away mode. I just want to point out something. I spent about 20 minutes looking for my phone just now, and I realize I'm recording with it. Isn't the Starbucks app awesome? You place your order, you pick it up. No waiting in line. That was so simple. But the flip side is, I didn't talk to a soul. Now that was an opportunity for me to stand in line, maybe say hello to the person in front of me or behind me, and it was a possible chance for social interaction. But I didn't say hello or goodbye or... What do you guys think? Put it in the comments below. Do you think these automated apps and things are, are good? Do you think that it's a good thing for people to not talk to other people? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Trying out this new gimbal. Is this for your YouTube channel? This is for the YouTube channel. It is, yeah. Good morning. I don't know yet, guys. I have no idea. I'm making videos. Oh, yeah, I started just for fun. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That Since thing was crazy. Like, like the same. You're on. You're recording right now. Oh, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Hi, say, say hi. hi, hi. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just started. I took a class during pandemic, and I already knew how to edit. Obviously. Okay, so as with any job, the first thing I do when I get in is get a text message. No, the first thing I do when I get in is I check my emails. I make sure there aren't any fires to put out, any last minute tweaks to voiceover, music, sound effects, last minute cuts, last minute meetings, all that sort of stuff. Up we go. So I have a standing desk here at work. I usually work standing in the morning because I like to get the blood flowing, get the creative juices flowing. So, what am I actually editing? The actual footage I cannot show you because I work in development. And um, because I work in development, I cannot show you what I'm doing because we don't want other people to steal the ideas. I have a background in movie trailers. I edited movie trailers for 15 years and then I moved over to reality. And what I do specifically is I put together sizzle reels to pitch to networks for new television shows. <laughs> I thought you were on 
trying to lose weight. <laughs> Lay off me, I'm starving! So sometimes at lunch I like to venture out and try new spots. And uh, I found this cute little area called Kenneth Village, which is on Kenneth Street here in Burbank, not far from the office. And I'm gonna try this spot called the Coffee Commissary for lunch. Am I gonna be famous? You are, maybe. No, probably not, most likely not. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Cher. Hi Cher, nice to meet you, I'm Joe. Hi Joe. Are you doing like a vlog type of thing? I'm doing, yeah, I'm doing a day in the life of a, of a television editor. That's what I do. Of a television what? What's your, uh, a television editor. Television editor. Yeah. I love it. Got a little avocado toast, a little green tea matcha, refuel for the rest of the day, so I can go back to being the editing machine that I think I am. Okay, lunch was from 12.30 to 1.30, and I am back for my afternoon nap. Okay, no. I wish. You know, a lot of young editors will say to me, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, the truth is, I've been doing this for 25 years, and I don't know what I'm doing till I know what I'm doing. You know what I mean? No, okay, of course, that doesn't make any sense. What I mean is, you don't know what you're doing until you actually get into the project. And that is normal. You sit down, you look at a blank timeline, and you're like, oh shit, I can't do this. That moment of doubt, that happens to everyone. So one of the things I have to do from time to time is read voiceover because um, a lot of times trailers and sizzle reels and TV spots, they have voiceover in them to move the action along. In this particular situation, I'm reading some promo copy for some television spots for Kabillion, who uses me pretty regularly. This holiday season on Kabillion Girls Rule. This holiday season on Kabillion Girls Rule. Let's make new memories with cherished classics. Because sharing the holiday spirit never gets old. Watch all your timeless favorites and more on Kabillion Girls Rule. So what do you guys think? Does that voiceover sound good? Bad? Terrible? This holiday season on Kabillion Girls Rule. Because sharing the holiday spirit never gets old. Sharing the holiday spirit never gets old, people. Hey, everybody. It's closing time. You don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Well, guys, that's the end of my day. The sun is setting in like 10 minutes, so I'm gonna try and catch the sunset. Hey guys, thank you so much for spending the day with me. I hope it wasn't too boring, and I hope you got a little insight into what it's like to be a television editor here in Los Angeles. Anyway, Let's go out on a beautiful Los Angeles sunset, and I will see you in the next one. I can't let it go. I'm feeling good. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.